welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie and today you're getting a little bit of a different setup. I am in my craft room slash office. I have moved everything around in here and it's at an odd time of the day for recording. I lost one of my lights. I didn't lose it. It broke. <laughs> so I'm only working with one light. So I'm trying to work with the daylight and one light over here. I don't know how well it's working because my windows casting shadows and all that jazz, but I wanted to do this video because Vingley sent me a buffet storage piece that I have set up in my craft room. I was really struggling with some storage issues in here, even though I have this beautiful wall of storage over on my left, to my left here with my pegboard and all of that jazz. Um, I needed some more storage for my sewing supplies. I just had the one shelf, um, one bookcase for my sewing supplies and it just was not enough. I don't have everything in my buffet yet, but I will soon. And it's not fully organized to my specifications um, or to my liking, but it's getting there. That kind of thing takes a little time. I need to find, you know, take some measurements and, you know, all that jazz. So <clears throat> I love the buffet. It is beautiful. It is really well made. Um, and uh, let's go take a look at it. I have been working in my craft room. This buffet was sent to me by Vingley. I did have an L-shaped desk right here, but it was just a clutter catcher. I did have my computer over in that corner over there, um, but it, I always felt like a little crammed in that corner. So I also needed some extra storage for my sewing supplies specifically, and this has definitely given me some room to grow. On top of this buffet, I just have my sewing machine, my lantern, and then like a catch-all. And I just have some stuff in here that I need to take care of, as well as my sewing machine manual. That thing is pretty old. <laughs> it has three drawers along the top. I have not finished organizing them yet. I'm just starting to get them set up. I'm really excited to get them organized, though. As you can see, the drawers glide really smoothly. They're really easy to put together. The drawer glides are actually labeled... Um, DL right, DL left for drawer, left drawer, right. And then um, they actually went together really, really easily. This piece right here is the only piece I will tell you to make sure you put it in correctly. I did mine <laughs> upside down and backwards the first time. So even though I was looking at the directions, the directions on this was a little, this one piece was a little confusing for me. So definitely pay attention when you're doing that one piece. This buffet did take me about six hours to put together all by myself. And I was tired when I did it. Um, but it was pretty easy and straightforward, so that is why I started getting a little grumpy uh, with that piece. But the shelves are completely um, adjustable. You can see they can go up or down. And these, if you just, there's a little screw right here, um, that helps with the swing of the door. So if it is a little close at one part and not the other, or down too far up here and up too far down here. That is how you adjust it with that tiny little screw. And here is where I keep my fabric and fabric supplies, my scraps and things like that. I have a lot of like vintage sheets right here and then a bunch of thrifted fabric as well as some curtain panels back there that I use as fabric. These over here are just Christmas tree skirts and I will use them as batting. I will pick them up at the, at, you know, after Christmas for like 10 cents a piece. And I've used them for my stockings and stuff like that. But then up here, I just have like my little one yard of fabrics or my um, fat, fat quarters and, you know, just some scraps of fabric. And then down here, I already told you I have all this stuff. Um, and these are completely adjustable, like I said. And it was super easy to put together, like I said. Other than this piece, got me. Um, I really love it, um, and I'm really happy. My uh, <laughs> This is like a true look of what my craft room looks like, slash office looks like right now. This is everything that I'm showing you here today. Um, and then I have one light. Well, I guess I didn't show you this either. This is my radio and 
Um, this is my husband's dresser as a baby. It has all kinds of marker and stuff on there that probably could use a little love. But um, I have one of my lights broke, so I only have one light to set up. So I'm trying to use the daylight as well. But this is what's going on, and this is how it's looking so far. I did set up this little desk here to use as um, my sewing station, or if my daughter Josie wants to come in and draw with me while I'm working, she loves to draw, we have an extra little station here. However, I do want to get a longer desk. Um, I think I can get a 60-inch desk to put here, but that is the way it's looking. So a little sneak peek of the craft room. Then I have purchased some things, friends. Um, so if you're new here, I usually do a thrifting, thrift with me videos and thrifted home decor and all that kind of stuff. But I also like to do like my retail shopping, but I only, I don't do that very often on YouTube. So what I do is I just kind of gather it all up and show you like once a season, once every couple of months, something like that. And I just happen to have quite a bit to show you. Um, some clothing, some home decor, some housewares, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna start with the biggest item that I don't have in this room right now, and that is my air fryer. I bought an air fryer and I love it so much. It's technically an air fryer toaster oven. Um, and we use it absolutely every day. Uh, it is just an I can't believe we went this long without it. Um, I gave my toaster to my daughter, Alexandra. She has her own place. And uh, we just use that for toast. We can cook four pieces of toast in there. Um, it's just, I don't know, I like it. Whereas we only had a two slice toaster before. So, um, and we've been using it for air frying, of course. And then just regular oven. My husband cooked pizza rolls or are they pizza rolls? Yeah, pizza rolls in it last night. And he's, he's like, wow, these are really good. They're like extra crunchy. So that was cool. He's, he, he loves it as well. So, and I'm actually going to um, make some baked apples in there. I haven't had a baked apple in a while. Um, that was one of the first things I actually made in, in it when I first got it. Oh, baked apples remind me of my grandma. I love them so much. Okay, so then at, that was from Target, by the way. Also from Target, I picked up a pair of boots. I love these guys. These are lug boots. They have the nice chunky sole that, you know, helps prevent slipping and all that jazz. And they're a little higher up on the ankle. I love the detail, like this rubber and the wood detail here. They are supposed to be waterproof as well. I have not tested that theory, but I have been wearing these nonstop for the last couple of weeks. They are so cute. Um, I love them. <laughs> yeah, so I grabbed those for sure. And then also from Target, I'm just gonna, oof, get some stuff closer here. I picked up a pillow. I actually ordered this from online at Target and it's the Studio McGee from Target. I, and I have to tell you, I'm on the fence. It looked so beautiful, but for some reason, I'm just, I'm not sold. So tell me what you guys think. I love, let's see, I'll give you a close up there. I love the color. I just, I don't know. I love it. I want to do greens, the deeper moody greens for Christmas this year. And I always do my red, little touches of red, not overboard. Um, and then, you know, my neutrals, I may bring in my plaids. I have no idea. Um, I'm not that <laughs> far ahead yet, but I am, I was so excited. I fell in love with this online and it just, okay. So on camera, it looks really cute. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. And from afar, it looks really cute. Hmm, I'm on the fence. What do you guys think? Should I keep it or should I send it back? This was $22 from Target, which is not bad compared to the other prices. But what sold me on it was it has a zipper. So I, this just has the polyfill in there. So I could take this out, use the polyfill in my crafts and put one of my feather pillows in there so I can get that nice chunky, you know, karate chop fluffy pillow thing so mm, I don't know maybe I'll keep it we'll see 
We'll see. You guys let me know. Should I keep it? I do like it. It's just not... I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Then, um, let's see. All right, I'm going to do... <laughs> you guys, I have a problem. I love Portland leather goods. Okay. I, ha I seriously have a problem. So in the summertime, I like to use a smaller bag. And that's just so I, my hands are free and I can run around and do whatever. It's nice to have a small bag when you're out thrifting or garage selling, although I didn't do any garage selling this year. Um, I had a garage sale. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little wheezy today. Um, I had a garage sale and sold a bunch of stuff, um, which was nice, right? but um, I didn't do any garage selling, but I did go ahead and buy myself a small uh, purse from Portland Leather Good. This is the mini crossbody um, purse and I adore this purse. It is such the perfect size for my summertime stuff. Um, it does have the crossbody strap. I just have it tucked down inside and I put the paper back in there to store it away for fall. Um, because I love this bag. I just, I'm hoping you can see how beautiful that leather is. This bag will probably outlive me as long as it doesn't go through a shredder or something. Um, and it smell they always smell so good. And they do have good sales every once in a while. And everything that I am showing you today, I'm going to try to link if, I think I have a link for everything. I think so. Um, but yeah, so this was my summertime bag and I loved the colors and the variation in this leather so much that I bought the full size for fall and winter. And this is a big bag ma mamma jammer. I like it because this, it has like the nice long shoulder straps and this is how I carry it most of the time. But when I'm like grocery shopping and trying to unload the car under the conveyor belt or whatever, I always will put this on because it seems like it's then falling off. I don't put my purse in the cart usually unless I have somebody with me and they're pushing the cart and they're gonna be with the cart the whole time. So I love this guy. This is the full size cross body bag. And uh, the link that I have for this for you guys is actually a, a referral link that I didn't know I had. And when I did get the referral link, I was so excited because this, it will give you $30 off a $100 purchase and it gives me $20 as well. So that's really excited. Um, I will definitely make sure I put that link in the description box for you. Well, all of these links. Okay. So I bought one thing from Amazon. Actually, I bought a couple of other things from Amazon. I'll just save them. They're just bottles. I'll save them for another video. Um, unless, unless you, should I? Be kind of late now. Nah, I'll just wait. Okay. Then I found, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> my brain. Then I purchased a mandolin from Amazon. It comes with all kinds of goodies. That's the top, comes off really easily. A glove to protect your hand, a little tool to clean it, and I already have my <laughs> throw it on the ground. <laughs> I already have my hair on there. All right, so I just lost one of the pieces somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. I swear you guys, I'd drop my head if it wasn't attached. Um, it comes with, let's see, a spiralizer and uh, I don't know what this thing is called. It's like a wavy chip thing, I think. Um, they are in here, the little cleaning tool, the glove to protect your hand. This is the top that sits on the top of it. And then this is the plate that you protect your hand with um, and it has the little I don't know what they're called, little spikes on there to hold the vegetable or whatever that you're um, using on the mandolin. And then it has all of these different cutting plates. To, oh, I'm gonna put it in there crooked or something. There we go. Uh, I think that's a grater. Another grater of some sort, bigger, larger. A slicer, 
I think this one is for the spir spiralizer and whatnot. And then it also comes with this little guy. And that one's for the... Oh, that's to put in the top of the vegetables. So when you're spiralizing, you can just kind of turn it. Um, gosh, I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> for uh, this, these guys, because the, the um, you don't use this. That's what that's for. So I got one of those. I'm, I really wanted one. I've been wanting one for a lot of years and I just never bought it. And now that I have the air fryer, I have a reason to because I would love to make some, my own potato chips and fry up like zucchini and squash and all that kind of thing. Oh, yum. Okay. I bought a couple of things from Walmart. I, these are my favorite tank tops ever. And they're just like $2.98 from Walmart. They are the No Boundary brand. And they just look like this. And they're just like a really nice undershirt for layering. Like I'll wear them underneath my flannels and that kind of thing. So I have them in all kinds of colors. I did not have this color yet. So I grabbed one of these, but for $2.98 and they're so comfy. So comfy, love that. And then Josie has stolen all of my socks. So I bought myself a pack of the Muck Lux Cozy Up Yourself Women's Tall Boot Socks. And I got them in the like heathered black, I guess. So it's like gray and then the burgundy color. Um, so I actually have a sweater this color that I'd love to wear. It's like a nice, one of those nice big cozy sweaters and put this on over my leggings. It'd be nice and cozy. So. Um, I grabbed those and I can't remember. I think I want to say they were like five bucks. I can't remember exactly, but if I can find them, I'll link them for you. All right. Okay. Then you guys, I ordered myself. A, oh no, no, no. I have one more thing to show you. Um, Stanley thirst quencher cups. If you have a girl in your life or a guy in your life that loves to like have water with them at all times. These are the 40 ounce uh, tumblers and they are so trendy because it holds 40 ounces for one and it fits into your cup holder in your vehicle. I've purchased several, including some that are at Target that say they fit in your car vehicle's cup holder and they don't. One of them is that Reduce brand, Reuse brand, Reduce brand. It does not fit in the cup holder at all. Don't waste your money. Um, but the this actually does. This is actually my second one. Oh, hold on, I'll grab my first one. Okay, so this is my first one. I got this one in the spring and I always, it's full. I always have, um, something in there and I thought you know it'd be nice to kind of have two um just so I could rotate them out and this one is just a little bit lighter it's almost like a uh it's called rose quartz the color um but this is the older style see how the lid is like clear right here they upgraded the lid on the newer one so it's a little more spill spill proof not a hundred percent spill proof because there is a hole for a straw there's no way you can actually have it be 100% spill proof and still be able to wash all the parts, right? But this one, the hole is much bigger and there's no gasket on it at all. So if it tips over, it's gonna spill a lot. Um, this one will not because it is a tumbler. It's not a, uh, uh, what are they called? A bottle where you can actually just screw it sealed. I prefer to drink out of a straw rather than a huge mouth bottle. So um, yeah, I grabbed one of these. These are $40, but let me tell you, they would make an amazing Christmas present or birthday present. I actually got one for my daughter, Alexandra, for her birthday, and she stinking loves hers too. She keeps hers by her bed so um, for drinking water at night. So I highly recommend this product. It's like one of my favorites. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, I love it. Mm. Okay, just what the doctor ordered. Then I ordered a fashion box, you guys. It was a little confusing for me, but fashion is doing this new thing where they're selling, selling, <laughs> seller, 
selling mystery boxes and it costs $95 and that $95 includes your shipping and your styling fee. So you go into the website and you tell them what you're looking for for clothing. If they have it, they'll send it to you um, and they'll send you a total of five pieces for $95 and um, style it for you and you know they still give you ideas of how to wear the pieces which was amazing because when I got my box they sent me a pair of cut from the cloth jeans they look like this they are straight legs I folded up the bottom they are straight legs these jeans by themselves I looked them up are over between 70 and 120 dollars um so these are the Catherine jeans so I was really, really excited about that. So, um, yeah, I really like them. They are slightly big on me, so that is a bummer, but I will probably wear them anyway because they are cute. Then this I have not tried on yet. This is the Andre by Unit sweater, and it is so cute, you guys. It's just a cream colored sweater. And it has this beautiful like design on the sleeve and then it has like the flouncy what is that called i can't remember but balloon there you go and it just looks like that and it just has like this super simple detail but it, those super simple details are what make the sweater so um i cannot wait to try that on and then there is this. This is more of like a summery shirt. The name of it is Beach Lounge, Beach Lunch Lounge, sorry. And the style is Ava, but this is super cute. Isn't that cute? I will definitely be wearing this in the spring and summer for sure. Compare it with a pair of white shorts and a pair of sandals. Oh, so cute. And then this is a dress. This is just like a, uh, not a tunic dress, what is it called? Like a, uh, like a sweater dress kind of, but uh, it, I don't know, I don't, it has pockets and it just looks like this. It's got the three quarter sleeves and it's just like a super simple dress. I think it'll look cute belted. It'll look cute with a jean jacket. Um, yeah, so cute. I gotta try all this stuff on for you guys. And then this is probably one of my favorites. They um, sent, this is the Jilly, or Gilly. I would say it's Jilly dress. It's a size medium and you guys. Imagine this with a pair of boots and a denim jacket. Isn't that cute? Look at the little um, ruffle detail it has three quarter sleeves with the, the peasant style and it's just so cute. I love it so much. Um, I cannot wait to wear this. I gotta have to, Gabe take me on a date. But that is everything that I purchased in the last few months um, for my home and to wear around the house. Now, I did buy something last week. I'll just show them to you. Um, I did go thrifting. If you watched that thrifting video and didn't catch what I actually bought, I was just showing you as I put it into the cart, which I don't normally do. So I figured I'd just show it to you now as well. Um, and I've been doing a little DIY a little bit here. So I found this guy for $8.99 and it is a Revere Wear saute pan with the lid. Now the handle, oh, the lid's not going to stay on because of the tape, but the handle did not look like this when I got it. I started to do a little makeover on it and it as like, uh, as you know, like a experience is not the word I wanted to, um, as a little test, I guess. <laughs> uh, so scientific experiment, experiment is the word I was looking for. And, um, because this was so bad, it was just green almost. It had been so dishwasher etched. So all I did was take a little sandpaper to it, some 220 grit sandpaper, um, and, and started sanding it down, and then rinsed it off and washed it off and then oiled it, and it helped so much. So I probably will do that again, at least one more time, um, or maybe even twice. And you can actually kind of see on this side where I didn't get too close of how bad it was. 
So it really did make a huge difference from there to, you know, to over here. Um, so I will definitely be doing that again. Now I bought this for my daughter Madeline because she is 20 and will probably be finding her own place eventually. So I'm starting to gather things for her um, to take when she's ready to go. And then, I also came home with just one of the pepper grinders. Uh, the other one was like really, really orange and this one was a bit deeper in color. So I grabbed this Gabe Likes Fresh Peppercorns. I will definitely throw these peppercorns away, wash it out really well, um, maybe oil it to make sure it doesn't dry out and then uh, fill it back up with some peppercorns. Um, this was his favorite find of the day. <laughs> And um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, last week I did a thrift with me with my husband. He was there and it was hilarious um, because my husband thinks he's quite the jokester. Um, but yeah, and then this was the last item that I brought home. So uh, in the video, you see me put lots of things in my cart and then at the end I go through and I prioritize and I only come home with what will fit into my budget and what I think is most important. So this I bought, brought home because I think it is just so beautiful and I collect vintage picnic baskets and I don't have this one. And I thought that this one will definitely go into my Christmas decor and it will also, when not in use for Christmas, hold Christmas decor for storage. So I actually have a red plaid one that I use the same exact way. That one holds my vintage Christmas um, you know, decorations. So um, this one will probably do more of the same. I'm actually thinking about using this one for my grandmother's Christmas village. So if it will fit, I'm thinking I shouldn't be able to get it to fit. So I think that's what that one's going to be. And then I know that my grandmother's Christmas village is safe. So now that is actually everything I purchased in the last forever <laughs> uh, for uh me, my family, my home. If you enjoyed this video, I would hope that you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll check you later. And the links are down in the description box. Bye guys.